going on, Decepticon Addicts? This is Seaspray coming at you, giving your Decepticon fix. We're going to do another Transformer review today. This is Generations G1 Thrust. This guy's a deluxe size Transformer, and he's a level 4 transformation. Mm, level 4, I would say a 3. I think this guy's pretty easy to transform. Well, I guess he maybe he has different uh, stuff compared to like the regular Seeker, which might add a little bit more difficulty. Mm, I, I guess I can see that. But yeah, so Thrust. I already have the Henke one, so uh, this guy to add to my collection is not a really a, a big deal, but uh, it's nice to have another one, a little bit more G1 accurate, I think. All right, so let's take a quick look in the back here. You just see Thrust and his ult mode, twin cannon with firing projectiles and two launching missiles. Nice, very nice. And up top it just says. A once variant warrior, Thrust now flees at the first sign of danger. What? He's a coward. That sucks. But, uh, not much more to say about this in the package, so we can just take him out of the package and take a look at him in further detail. Alright, here we have Thrust out of the package. Very, very cool figure. So, for, th for this review, I'm not going to show you transformation and probably won't go over articulation in robot mode, since I already did all that in the Henkei Thrust review I did, like, quite some time ago. So for this review, we're just going to go over it, cut to robot, and just going to go over it and end the review off and whatnot. Make it nice and quick, and you guys most likely have a seeker mold of this guy already, so you don't want to hear too much about him. Very cool figure, nice burgundy brown, some light grayish brown on the wings and so forth. Nice white, Decepticon silver insignias on the turbines, and gold cockpit, some gold coloring in there. Looks really, really nice. Of course, the turbines are on top of the wings for more G1 accuracy, but they can also be placed underneath there as well, in the back ports. Missiles do fire. All you want to do is push the button on the wing, or on the missile part actually, the launcher, which is like the burgundy piece, and you just shoot it with a little bit of effort. It does shoot out. Very cool. Not really much going on, but I do like the white striping on the sides and on the wings. I think they look really nice. I could have did it gold or something, but I think white is a nice touch. It's rad. And, of course, the turbines do spin. As you can see, a little spin, spin action. Underneath, you can see some robot kibble, of course. You can see his face. Uh, turbines do come out. Or, not turbines, but these little pieces here. And there, of course, the wheels, landing gear. Retractable, of course. Pretty plain. Nothing much more underneath you can say about that. Okay, so let's just take this guy, transform him, and go over him a little bit more in robot. Okay? Alright, let's do this. Oh man, this guy's very, very nice. Way more excited than I was when I initially heard he was coming out and getting him. Passed on him a few times. And I'm so glad I got him because he's just great. He looks, he looks badass. Um... Definitely looks a lot different than the Takara version, but you know what? This guy looks really, really cool. And definitely more G1 accurate. So let's take a little closer look. You can see his white face stands out pretty nicely. Of course, his giant cone head looks pretty cool. Nice coloring, some dark, kind of grayish, kind of a. It's more of a light brown, actually. With the gold on the shoulders, looks really nice. You can see down here. The red nips, of course. Some silver on the ribs. Gold cockpit area on the chest. See some stripe on there. Very, very cool. I kind of wish they had the Decepticon, the purple ones on their insignias, but uh, it's okay. Leaning down into the mid waist, see some gold on uh, some side pieces there. And some white on back wings. You can see it stands out nice. It looks pretty cool. Down into the legs. It's all burgundy, of course. And then the silver. And then the same brown, light brown color throughout. It almost has a gray tinge to it almost. But uh, yeah, it looks great. Those thrusters look pretty cool too. Love that. You know, I just love that paint on the face and white face, yellow eyes. I think it looks really, really cool. Okay, let's take a quick look at the back here. You can see the giant wings. They look pretty cool. They don't look too bad. You know, it's kind of plain on the back. Wings on the side there, of course. Pretty cool. Alright. Take a look on the side. Pan out. Okay, let's just turn him around. And take a final look at him. Because if you don't have this guy, I definitely suggest you pick him up. 
He looks great in your collection, for your classic series, if you don't have the Takara version. But of course, he's a little bit, I think he's a little bit more badass looking, a little bit more G1 accurate, a lot more G1 accurate actually. The other one had uh, these kind of weird colors on the wings, kind of made him look a little bit obscure. But he does have uh, some chrome on him, on the Japanese one, like on the blasters and stuff like that, which I think are sick. And, uh, so this is good. This guy's really cool as well. I like him a lot. And I don't have the Bakon one, so I can't really compare that one. But this guy's really cool. So that's it. Thanks for watching my review on Generations Thrust. Definitely pick him up. It's awesome. This is Seaspray. Stay tuned for more reviews and more videos. And thanks for the support. Alright guys, catch you guys later.